another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the conditional formatting exercises. Okay, let's conditionally format the variance column. Highlight the range, and then select the conditional formatting icon. Select Highlight Cell Rules and then Greater Than. We'd like to apply this format to all cells that are greater than 10%. We'll select Green as the formatting style. Let's apply another rule. Head back to the Conditional Formatting icon. This rule will apply to all cells that are less than a minus 10%. This is an unfavorable variance, so we'll select red as our formatting style. Excel applies the formats and will continuously monitor the cell values and update the formats accordingly. In this exercise, when our difference is equal to zero, we'd like a green format, otherwise we want a red format. We select conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, equal to. When the cell value is equal to zero, we'd like to use a green format. If the cell value is greater than zero, we'd like a red format, so we head to conditional formatting and select greater than. And we select the red format style. We also need to apply this red format if the cell value is less than zero. Now that conditional formatting is applied, Excel will monitor our difference value and update the formatting appropriately. In this exercise, we use conditional formatting to identify duplicate values. We start by selecting our range. Then we select Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Duplicate Values. For this exercise, we'll stick with the default values and the red cell formatting. And now Excel identifies the duplicate values. In this exercise, we'll add some data bars to our report. Highlight the range and head over to the Conditional Formatting icon. Select the orange gradient fill format. Excel then applies the data bars to your range. In this exercise, we'll insert some icon sets. Begin by highlighting the range. Head over to the conditional formatting icon and then select Icon Sets. Then select the three triangles format. Excel then inserts the icons based on the relative cell values. This video is a production.